have them back. Uh, well, let me take this off because I'm in my own home. And I'm going to just take it off for the time being so you guys can hear me um, talk to you. Um, I do have my Lysol wipes and everything. So I have to make sure I wipe everything down. And oh, yes, it's a lot. COVID-19 has struck my house. <laughs> so I, yeah, I have COVID. So we're back, guys. And um, I just want to jump right into it because literally I'm burning up. Not to the point where I need to go to the ER. I don't have a fever or anything like that. I just think that my medication that I'm taking for my COVID-19, yes, if you didn't know, now you know. I am suffering with COVID-19. I found out um, yesterday that I had COVID-19. Um, the doctor called me um, and let me know that all the symptoms that I was feeling and my COVID test came back positive um, and I shouldn't be like overly worried because it's just um, not the 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 stronger COVID that we were seeing before this is just a mild COVID so as long as I have like my mask on which I have my mask right here and then I have gloves like when anytime I get up off the couch I'll put my gloves on I do have my locks off uh, for viruses and then I also have um, on the floor down there um, some liquid form of uh, sanitizer but it's just liquid you have to dilute it a little bit but I didn't dilute it because I want it to kill everything that I touch okay so how did I know that I had COVID or how let's just say how was I feeling before all this so let's start last week Friday um, really quick I'm just gonna throw some things out there last Friday me and my sister we were um, having just a girls day out sister day out and we went to Planet Fitness because most of the time my sister asks me you want to go to Planet Fitness and I'll tell her no or if her, her job has like a swimming pool and all this kind of pretty stuff and I'm like I don't know about that um, and so, but I did agree to go with her to um, Planet Fitness. So we went to Planet Fitness and we worked out. Only thing I did was, um, and I wore my mask. Um, I think I took my mask off a couple of times during that workout because I started getting hot. Um, but I did the treadmill um, and then I did the Thigh Master. Um, and then we did some little workouts ourselves. And then, to be honest, I was feeling in between the thigh master. I was already feeling like crazy. Like I don't know, my body was like not wanting to do anything. So I really didn't think about it because I have a whole nine-year-old son, y'all. Y'all know how it goes. He has so much energy, so I have to put my energy more higher than his, because you know that's how we do it as moms. And so anyways, um, I try to keep myself going because like I'm all he has and um, yes, he has my sister and my, my mom, but there's nothing like his mom. mom. <laughs> um, and so I provide for him and stuff like that. And so, um, yeah, I, we, I just went on about the day. We went to Target and literally I was just like buying stuff and... <coughs> And then so, um, on Saturday, um, I don't remember Saturday. I think Saturday, I was, I was quite fine. Like, I went to work Sunday, went to work. Um, and then here we are Monday, and I feel like crap. Like, I was feeling like crap at, like, okay, so Sunday, let me bag it up. Hold on, y'all. Bag up. So Sunday... Um, my symptoms were just, um, lightheadedness, like really bad. And literally I, when I was like, when I was going to work on Monday, cause I did go to work Monday when I got up, uh, Monday morning, um, uh, the dizziness and the lightheaded was like more 
worse. And so, okay, so I stay like right by a siren for like tornadoes and stuff for the weather. So I thought that that was going off. But, um, I was feeling shaky. I was feeling weak. My head was hurting so bad. Like I literally thought I couldn't get up off this couch. I like I laid down and I went to sleep and I couldn't get up, up off this couch. And so um finally I pushed myself and I said I'm not fit I'm not fit to do this. And I was like the devil is a lie. I am not fit to lay here. I'm not fit to soak in this whatever this is. This too shall pass. Um and so I said prayer and I got myself up and I went and showered, did I, what I had to do. Then I, um, then I um, went to work, off to work. Um, and so I worked. And as soon as I got to work, it just started hitting me really hard, really hard. I don't know. I couldn't get up. I was sitting in a chair at work. And so um, the lady at work, she was like, if you need to go, go. But I'm one of those. I'm a fighter. But this right here, this COVID-19, like, it, you can't fight this. Like, when this stuff tell you to sit down, like Madea said, you better get some work and sit down. Because <laughs> you you cannot fight this. Like, um, and so, um, like, I've never, like, I'm going to tell you right now, I never, like, had COVID. And I never ever said that I would never have COVID. But... I always say I don't want to feel COVID. I don't want to, like, people walk around here and they're like, Rona this and Rona that. Like, it ain't nothing to play about. It's not nothing to joke about until you've had it, you know. Um, and here I am. I have it. And so, yeah, on Monday after work, because I did push it. I pushed it, pushed it, pushed it. And the thing about uh, working with ladies, they always got something to do or you know um and they don't want to you know stay for you um even though the lady told me that oh go ahead and go um <coughs> because we're both managers um i already knew she wasn't gonna stay um and she when it was time for her to go it was it was time for her to go she took off like bye you know <laughs> um so um, so I stayed, I mustered it, and I had a chair right there, and I just, I just chilled, like, that's all I could do, you know, and I felt bad, because there was another lady, and she was looking at me like, uh, you ain't gonna do nothing today, and I'm just like, what can I do in this predicament, in this position, so by the time work would end it, um, I was gonna go, um, to CVS Pharmacy, which we all know they have a pharmacy clinic in there. Um, but the one that's by my job, the pharmacy wasn't open. They're never, like, the pharmacy part is open with the meds, but the clinic is never open. I don't know why. Maybe they are short on, like, doctors or nurses. But whatever the case may be, like, I just said forget it, and I went to the ER. Now, I'm one that don't like going to any emergency room. I do not like it. I do not like being around people that I don't know what's going on, what they have. I don't know who I'm sitting next to, what's going on. You know, I'm very, I'm very standoffish um, when it comes to ERs. If I don't have to go, I won't go. Um, and I... This is one of those days where I had to go because I couldn't get an appointment with my doctor, my original physician. Um, she's booked. Um, and so earlier this week I did, um, and it's just so funny because two weeks ago, not earlier this week, but two weeks ago, um, I did do a, a COVID test. And then prior to the month before that, I did a COVID test. Now, a month before that, I can understand it was negative. But two weeks ago, it was negative. Um, and then now when I do it, it came positive. Um, so, yes, I'm in the emergency room. My sister pops up. Y'all, I was so stressed out because my phone was about to die. <laughs> it's a lot of stuff, but it it's okay. Like, I prayed about it. I was just like, God, I just, 
I hope like you know, um, but my sister popped up. Um, my boyfriend was at work at the time. Now, if you're worried about him, um, my boyfriend, he is doing okay. He's doing good. He was sick earlier, um, and um, he has high blood pressure. So, we got that under control. He got his meds, and he's getting that going. He He's wearing his mask and stuff like that, and... He's good. Now, me, on the other hand, I'm living downstairs. My boyfriend's living upstairs. <laughs> and he's just like, I'm not going to leave you. Um, we're going we're gonna to push this. We're going to toughen this out. I'll do whatever I got to do. Um, and this morning was so funny because he was like, I was like, where are you going? And he was like, they didn't say I had to stay in the house. They didn't say I had COVID. <laughs> I was like. He was like, uh, I got to get out of here. Like, I'm not going to stay upstairs like that. And I was just like, oh, my gosh. So, he was like, I love you. And I feed you. I give you water. Um, I give you love. <laughs> and he was like, I even read your prescription stuff to you. All that stuff. And now I got to go. Bye. <laughs> so, you know, I'm here by myself. Um, just chilling, you know. Um. Like I say, um, like I say, um, back to the doctor part, I just want to talk about boyfriend real quick because he has been amazing, like amazing boyfriend. And then my mom and my sister them has been A1, like two as well. My mom, she, she went and got my meds, boyfriend called meds, um, and then my sister came to the rescue at the hospital, um, for me. Because my phone was about to die, y'all. <laughs> and so, um, wow. But, um, yeah. So, we're in the hospital. There's a one doctor. I think he's like an intern, but he's not really a quite yet doctor. And so, long story short, they did all these tests. They came back. Some of the tests came back. Um, all the tests came back negative. Except the COVID test. But he messed up. He sent me home. Um, and then the doctor was like, where are you at? And I was like, he sent me home. So I came home. And he said, well, do not leave home. Um, I was trying to, like, he said he didn't know. He did not give him permission to send me. Because I would have had to stay there. And they would have to quarantine me. Um, and I'm glad, like, I'm so sorry, y'all. But I'm so glad that I don't, I, I was not, like, I left or whatever um and people have been my, my fa friends and family have been uh, messaging me making sure I'm okay do I need anything um but um yeah um so I'm I'm really glad and it sounds it sounds bad to say that that I'm glad that he sent me home when he did because I don't think I would last in the hospital like I've been there done that with my son when I had emergency C-section, almost croaked on the table, had to stay in the hospital for what, two, three weeks. And then I just didn't, I don't, it's just, I don't take my shoes off in the hospital. I won't take my shoes off in the hospital. I just, it's not my home. I don't feel comfortable. Um, but I do appreciate just all the help and um, the doctor that helped me, you know, in came and you know called me he was he was really really nice dr terry's really really nice he called me he told me um you know i'm sorry to be the very bad news but you got covid 19 every symptom that you said um the fatigue i the the um the other day i literally i was like why am i throwing up like but I was throwing up like this yellow stuff, this yellow liquid, and this is just too much TMI, but it's okay. And I had diarrhea real, real bad, and it was like yellow. I felt like I kept looking at it, and I was like, is that pee or diarrhea? Like, which part is it coming out? Um, and so um, that freaked me out too a lot. And then so I had diarrhea like three days straight, and... At that point, I was like, something is wrong. And then I started feeling my chest, like, it started getting heavier. And I was like, dang. I was thinking, like, my boobs, you know. I know I got big boobs, you know. But, <laughs> um, 
and that shouldn't have like you know make me feel some type of way because they don't ever do that um and then also i just i haven't ate like i just recently started eating yesterday um boyfriend uh, went to witch witch and bought us um he bought me oh yeah and also my potassium was really low too as well so i take potassium pills um and then he wants to see how that works in my body first before i get um the pills for the um covid um because i can't take them both together um, so I'm just doing my potassium pills first and then we're going to do the COVID win. Um, so, af so after Monday, I'm clear of, <clears throat> I'll be clear of COVID. Um, and I'm really excited about it. Um, so I can get back to work and get back to filming and uh, just being happy. Um, so... Yeah, you guys, this is, this is life as we know it. I will be um, just kind of taking you along on this, like, COVID-19 journey um, that, you know, I got. Um, so, I do want to share that I did get, um, I have been drinking green tea. Um, and let's see. Yeah, I've been drinking green tea. I love this cup because it keeps my green tea warm um but this is just uh the tarzo uh, tea um and then i've been keeping my throat loosen like mucus and stuff loosen because this stuff make you like make your throat like make literally make your mouth dry <laughs> um so and then i have been drinking my water this will be like the second bottle of water and then I do want to say this, that for the women, they didn't lie. COVID will make your period come, like literally make your period come. So I had to grab pads. I literally just had my period on the 23rd of last month. Um, and it's, it was a normal period. Now it is what was today's date? The the third. <laughs> I'm having another period. So it's definitely what they say about COVID. You do get a period. All like I think all women get their period. It's just something about COVID that pushes your period, your hormones or something like that. So I'm I'm confused a lot about this. I should have done like a lot of research on COVID. Um, I thought I did, but um, in reality, I didn't think I did enough. Um, I didn't think I did enough uh, researching research on COVID. And I'm gonna say this: I wouldn't wish this on anyone. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care if you don't like my channel. I don't care. I wouldn't wish it on you. Um, it's just we all will have to face this you know we all got to face it and you know it wasn't my time yet but this is my time it's my time now so i know i can say now hey i've had covid19 you know um and it's not funny it's not a game you feel like crap like my my throat right now is like on fire you know um my head hurts you know and yesterday like I literally before I even knew that I had COVID I was in this house cleaning making video um and cleaning um and just washing and then all of a sudden I just felt faint like so I had to like crawl back to the couch and sit down and just relax and then it's just so funny because my mom is like she can feel me because she called me she's like you okay and I was like no not really She's like, I wish I could be there, but can nobody be, you know, can nobody be around you and stuff like that. And I'm just like, yeah, I know that. Uh, and so, um, yeah, just, I just keep myself motivated by just listening to my music. I've been listening to like old school music, okay? Y'all don't know nothing about that. <laughs> I don't even know nothing about it, but 
I've been listening to me some old school, and I know I look like a mess, but you hey, you know what? It's all right. It don't matter what you look like. You got COVID nineteen. You folks to look crazy. I think you know. <laughs> but anyways, that's how I found out. Those are the symptoms, and I think what I feel towards COVID nineteen is that it's evil. <laughs> it's so evil, like, and I definitely don't like using that word, but. I don't like it like literally last night yesterday when I found out like I was crying 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 like I couldn't even stop crying like um you know my boyfriend was like he gets he don't get like he he don't like to see me cry so he'll just walk off um but in my mind like my mind's been like all over the place my brain's been like hurting and it's just been fuzzy so like I I've been feeling things and he tells me like babe that's not what it is like I was feeling last night like you're treating me like a like somebody like like I like somebody that is just nasty or you know he was just like why would you say that and I'm asking here asking you <coughs> asking you how are you and then it's just like my brain is just like I don't know my brain is like I don't know <laughs> you know what I'm saying um my body feels like disconnected you know um it's gonna take a minute for it to piece itself back together um but like I say it's more with my head um like like everything just it's fuzzy like it's fuzzy I can't think straight I think what I think that my boyfriend's being mean to me but he's really not y'all he's the sweetest and um, he say I'm mean to him but <laughs> um, but I don't know it's like it's it feels weird it feels definitely definitely feels freaking weird so I say to whoever is suffering with it right now, like I am, just keep praying, keep doing what you're supposed to do, Lysol wipes, your tea, your water, your uh, Gatorade, your meds, you know what to do. Keep your mask on um, and some gloves, but I wouldn't suggest wearing gloves to sleep because if you're in one area, the doctor told me you don't have to wear gloves if you're sitting in one area. Now, if you get up and walk around in the house or upstairs in the bathroom or however, wherever your bathroom is, then yes. Um, the thing about it is that in my house, I only have one bathroom, which I wish I had two. But, men, I tell him, like, you got to keep stuff white for yourself because you need to... If you trying to stay COVID free, you need to wipe behind yourself, sanitize stuff, and I feel like I'm doing most of the work, but all it's doing is just motivating me to get up, get stronger, and get out of this predicament. Um, yeah. So I'm probably going to, oh yeah, I did have, I was having issues trying to eat, but I did, um, I did get some Amy's, uh, vegetarian soup. Um, it was a tomato, but Amy's soup is so good. I've never tried the vegetarian soup. You guys, I literally like, everybody's been saying like, you're going to go vegetarian, you're going to go vegetarian. I just, so I have my moments, I, I, I think I've told you guys this before, but I have my moments where I go vegan, like not vegan, but vegetarian, and, and so, but yesterday I had tuna, so, what would they call, pescatarian, <laughs> um, but I just have phases, and right now I'm just trying to figure out what I want to eat, it's really hard when you don't have any taste buds. Um, so, but I did have some of that tomato soup, and I'm just saying it was good because I did taste a little bit of the sweetness. And then, like, in my tea, I add honey to it. I could taste a little bit of the sweetness, 
so hopefully my my taste buds are coming back um and yeah so the emergency um if you have COVID-19 um the doctor told me um, and I wanted to just tell you guys and give you you know advice or tips on what to do um he said if you are having trouble breathing or um you you faint or your skin turning different color um or you just vomiting you can't stop you know um then that's when you need to call um, 911 or get to the emergency room or where, where your physician is or call your physician to see what you need to do um, but mostly you need to stay hydrated like keep it you know hydrated I don't like water like I don't like like this water I don't like this water because um, this is the good value purified drinking water from Walmart and I didn't know I didn't know that um, they were going to give me these waters. <laughs> I think I did a haul on these. I'm not sure though. But they gave me 40 of these waters. Um, two cases of them. When I, only, I love the Sam's Choice water from Sam's. And Walmart does sell it. But they, the Walmart that I picked and chose, they didn't have it in stock. So, I didn't know until my mom told me that I could pick the Walmart. I just got to see if they have the water. And whatever Walmart has the water, then I can get it. This water right here is not my favorite water, but I'm going to drink it because I want to stay hydrated. Like, it really doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> so, I cannot be choosy because I cannot, for one, go outside the house and get what water I want. And two... I still can't go outside the house period so <laughs> I just have to make do with what I have um, my feelings are not going outside it's like I'm I'm very stressed because I love going I like my balcony because I want to see my flowers I want to put water in them because they will die if I don't um, if you didn't know, I have a cucumber bush coming up, and then I have a tomato vine coming up. But I haven't seen any tomatoes growing yet. One of my tomato vines, um, yeah, it, it limped over. It passed away. But I did put water on it. My mom said do not pull it up yet because those roots are, um, probably so good. And, um, just put water on it and see what happens but I'm excited I'm I've been doing good with trying to keep those flowers together and I've been doing good um hopefully one day next week I can take you guys out to see them um and then we can do some other things too as well because I need to it's almost time for the kids to go back to school or well, my son to go back to school and so I'm just trying to get him ready and together. I got all his school supplies and stuff. I got to reorganize, re-sanitize them because they're all sitting right there. <laughs> and, um, yeah, just, I'm living, y'all. Just, you know, being happy, being thankful. Um, being thankful to God that, you know, he allowed me to, he allowed me to, live you know um because somebody didn't live with COVID-19 somebody didn't make it with COVID-19 um and he decided my child ain't my child deserved to be here <laughs> just a little bit longer um and so he know I, I like I I need to be with my son I need to see him walk across that graduation stage <coughs> and high school and in college I need to be able to see my grandkids if he decide my son decide to have kids I need to be there for them too like my mom was there for my son I want to be the same image as she is to to him as I um as I am to his his babies so I just you know I want to be able to be there um but yes, anyways, you guys, I'm about to go. I'm probably going to lay down. I'm probably going to be knocked out because I took my meds and um, 
I stayed up for about 10 minutes because it said stay up for about 10 minutes. And so I'm really drained, really drowsy. My hands, they shake like they nearly shake. And you guys, I had so much plans this weekend. I was going to get my toes done, my nails done, my eyebrows done because I look like a hot mess. Go get me a new piece, okay? This weekend was going to be about the grown girl global, okay? <laughs> but anyways, um, or the mama global.